Hi guys, so today I wanted to just briefly talk about uh, what is uh, MIDI 2 LR and Lightroom. Uh, so basically MIDI 2 LR is a way of taking a sound mixing board uh, similar to what you see here which is the BCF2000 which you can find on eBay and, and bringing that into the uh, basically the Lightroom process. So how can you take a sound mixing board and use that to make the process easier in terms of your editing and your workflow. Um, so yeah, that, that's what we'll be talking about today. Uh, while you're at it, why not follow me on social media? Um, uh, have a look at a lot of my photos. Uh, you should be able to find them all around the place um, on my social media um, and also on my website at www.travishale.com. Anyway, so back to the, the main thing, which is effectively how to use a sound mixing board, which is what we have here, the BCF2000, um, and in, in Lightroom itself. So there is an open source piece of software that you would normally use, uh, which is called MIDI2LR. So MIDI2LR is available on GitHub. Um, it is donationware, and I would recommend to donate, I have. Um, and, and so basically what it allows you to do is take the inputs from the, the board we have here and map them to certain functions within Lightroom itself. Um, each of the inputs on here is programmable. So in this case, I've just taken uh, a what's called a profile, uh, where for example, this is mapped to exposure, uh, this is mapped to shadows, um, and, and allowed that to make my life easier. But you can program it any way you like. Um, and yeah, it allows for a fair bit of flexibility, but this is the easiest way for me. The benefit to using this specific board is that these eight sliders are all motorized. So what that means is when I edit photos, there's two-way communication between the boards. Uh, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But so how is this useful, you might ask? Um, the main way is to, to speed up the workflow. So over here, I've got this programmed and you've got photo left, photo right. So if I tap photo, it jumps across. So I'm only looking at two photos at the moment, but I might decide, no, I don't really like this. I'll mark it as reject, or actually I do like it. I'll mark it as pick. So you can imagine that this is just two photos, so it probably doesn't make a lot of difference, but across a lot of photos it does so when i cull photos i will basically go pick pick reject reject um, and do it that way so that's the the process of culling um, i can also rate photos on this so i can say i want to mark this as a decreased rate in i want to increase the rate in um, i want to mark it as red yellow green and all of these are actually mapped on the software itself. So I can change that specific green, for example, to um, not toggle green, but to uh, mark the photo as reject or, or whatever may be the case. So from a culling perspective, it is quite helpful. Um, the next step is photo editing itself. And for a lot of people having that tactile approach is a lot easier than going into Lightroom itself and saying, all right, what can I do to edit this photo? Um, I'm going to develop, sorry, my computer's a little bit slow. Um, I'll go into develop, I'll move the sliders across and I do like exposure or I don't like exposure. So what I'll show you is effectively the interaction between the two devices. I mentioned that this board has two-way communication. What I mean by that is when I adjust this, you'll see the, the exposure of the photo gets better or worse. But as well as that, you can see over here, I can actually bring this down. And as I do, the slider moves. 
this is really useful because when I go to the next photo, it corrects itself. And now we're back to where we were before. So having that two-way communication is really helpful. Other boards that don't have motors will still work. It's just they won't know where they are. So they may stay in that position. And the software has a couple of tricks to get around that. But for what we need, this is perfect. Uh, for perspective, this was probably about 300 Australian dollars secondhand on eBay. Um, I'm sure you could find it cheaper than that uh, if you looked harder than I did. Um, but, you know, I think it's been a pretty good investment. So what I'll do is I'll just have a go at doing this, this photo as an edit. Along the board up the top, I've got temperature, tint, vibrance, saturation, shadows, darks, lights, and highlights. Um, these remember where they are. So as you turn them, the, there's a little light that will move around um, to remember where it is. Um, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not really gonna focus on that too much. What I'll do is a basic edit. So it's a bit dark. We'll bring the shadow, uh, the, the exposure up a little bit. Um, it's not the best photo, but again, it gives you an idea on the software. Let's bring contrast up a bit. Uh, definitely needs to bring the shadows up. It's at night and a bit noisy, so let's bring the highlights down a bit. Bring the clarity up, vibrance up. And actually, I think we might change the temperature, just make it a bit warmer. So, look, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But as you can see, what I've done is, as I've adjusted the, uh, the points on here, the respective sliders have also moved as well. Um, I can I'll adjust the vibrance, and you'll see, so the vibrance is over here that adjusts as well. So it's pretty responsive. Um, if there's any lag that you're seeing, it's actually more to do with my recording setup than it is with um, the software or the board itself. Um, as I said, I've got controls for photos over here, so I'm happy with that or as happy as I'm gonna be for, for the purpose of this video. So I'll go back to the first photo. And you'll see it's actually remembered where the exposure is because over here we've got the exposure low. So we'll reset that, it's come back to normal, and now we can start editing this photo. It's, it can be a fairly quick process. Let's bring the highlights down, bring the shadows up a bit, clarity and vibrance up. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more. And that's it. So as you can see, it's a great piece of software. Um, I am definitely a big fan of this. Um, being able to take a, a mixing board with the MIDI 2 LR software, which is running on the computer itself, and then use that to edit photos, really streamlines the process. Um, so at the moment, this only works with Lightroom. Um, uh, but it is still, I think, a really, really useful process. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you a, a quick demonstration. Obviously, I've just looked at a very short number of photos, but if I go into a, a greater group, I've got a selection of about 19 bird photos in this group. So you can see the process in, in culling these pretty quickly. Like that, turn like that, do like that, do like that, turn like that, turn like that, do like that. So you can see it can be quite quick to actually go through these. Um, obviously, my computer is not the greatest, so it is taking a little bit of time, but nonetheless, it is really quite helpful for the culling process. And then when I'm finished, I can just delete the rejects or, or remove them or whatever else is the process is, is what I actually want. Um, yeah, uh, there are commercial offerings that do a fairly similar, similar thing. Um, palette is one example. 
But to be honest, for the cost of what they are, I think there's far more flexibility with this option because you can very easily change all of the parameters that you need. So, so I would recommend uh, having a look at it. Um, there are plenty of cheap boards that you can get that aren't specifically this one. Um, they vary. Um, I'll try and put some links up later to some of the boards, but you know they can be found for sort of seventy bucks or less. Um, obviously, not as as great in terms of controls as this one, but to get your feet wet and determine if it's for you, it's a, a great option. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as I said, why not have a peek at my website, um, www.travishale.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Um, have a peek at some of the pictures while you're at it. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.